Ready? Yep. Okay, so hi, I'd like to uh, talk to you today about uh, idea midwifery, the evolution uh, of, of ideas and, uh, and how they can progress in an open design process. So, and also to show you a new product which you can make yourself. So what you have here is a pocket whiteboard. So it's highly portable, you can write in it. Like so. And then it also has a nice little pouch in the edge here that you can wipe down and reuse the whole thing and then put it in your pocket. Now this idea came about in about um, five minutes of prototyping. I mean this is the I think third iteration so um, maybe about a, an hour of uh, total prototyping time and uh, thinking time so far. The original idea I was in my room and I was emptying out all my old moleskins and I realized that all of the all of the moleskins that I had had maybe three pages that I actually wanted to keep and the rest I could throw away. So I started documenting everything on Evernote and, um, and then throwing away the whole moleskin. So I was pondering on this and pondering the waste surrounded by old moleskins and also on my walls were a number of statties which are whiteboards which you can stick statically on your wall and um, they wipe down when not in use. So I was thinking about this and then I had, uh, as inspiration happens, pushed it up against my hands and uh, took the statues down, chopped them back with scissors, um, took the paper out of the moleskin and then also I made a little flap on which to stick the statues so you had a, a large scale pocket sized whiteboard. But the version you see here is a lot simpler because I showed it to Lee Van Bo and he said the beauty of it is actually that it's like a book. So the simpler version when I tried this, it made it much more attractive to me. You can make your own one like this, actually, by just taking a sheet of polypropylene and an old moleskin and some double-sided sticky tape, um, and then slitting open the back pocket, cutting a piece of scrap cloth, and then you've got your old one. But these ideas, once they're in the world, they have the opportunity to evolve further. And during the prototyping process, I realized that a bigger version would be better. And also, when I made it without the hinge, it was actually um, easier because you, you can just write right the way across and it actually forms a nice little space here with which to put your pen. So this larger version I've been using for some time and pondering as to whether it would be possible to make a product something a little bit more sexy. Lo and behold in the post should I receive this beautiful item from uh, Stu Charles sent it from me I believe Snyjet made it from Holland and this is a um, a little notepad that uses this uh, hinge that you see here. It's uh, all one laser cut piece, along with the challenge, okay, how can you make this better? How can you improve your product? So now you get some idea breeding. You get this idea and this idea. And then finally, you get this idea. Now looking at this, there were some, still some little challenges. Um, so again, it's just made by double-sided sticky tape. It's a very, very simple and unique product. The pen slots in here to reinforce it, but where do you put the wiper? Well, actually, you just wrap it around the pen, and then that holds in place. And then finally, you've got a beautiful, open source, evolved product that anybody can make. I encourage you to make your own, download the files, get some polypropylene, experiment, improve, and see where it leads. Oh, and this is a, a piece of old bike inner tube stapled and stuck in the middle there. So please feel free to play, experiment, make your own, test a product, see how long it lasts and uh, let's uh, take things forward together. Thank you.